upgrading Jenkins Java version from 11 to 17. So here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.375.3 running on the Alma Linux 8. I also have a Linux-based agent attached to this controller. Down in the description of this video is a link off to a gist that has all of the commands and documentation for this video. So before we get started, let's go ahead and verify which versions of Java that we are actually running. We'll start with our agent first. We'll click on Agent, and then we'll click on System Information. And then let's go down and look for Java Runtime Version. And in this case, we're running 11.0.18. Let's go ahead and verify also our controller version. So we'll go to Manage Jenkins, scroll down to System Information, and again, look for Java Runtime Version, and that is also at 11.0.18. Now this is one way to verify this, is to go through one by one and verify the versions. There's also a script that the link to this script will also be out in the gist that we can run on our controller in the script console to show the versions of the agents as they are compared to our controller. In a perfect world, the version of Java that's running the agent process is going to be the same as the Java version that's also running the controller process. So let's go ahead and copy this, go back over to our controller, we'll go to Manage Jenkins, we'll go down to the script console, and let's run this script. So if we take a look at the output of this script, what we're going to see is that the expected agent version that the controller is expecting from the agents is 3077 dot some string. The controller is also expecting the agent Java version to be 11.0.18. So if we take a look at the output from the node agent 1, and it says OK, then that means that the agent has that agent version of 3077 and it also has the Java version of 11.0.18. So what we want to do first is we first want to go ahead and upgrade the version of Java on our controller before we do the agent. Now you don't have to follow that exact pattern, but I prefer doing the controller first and then dealing with my agents afterwards. So let's go ahead and go into our controller. I've already SSH'd in and I've already become root just to simplify the commands. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop my Jenkins process. And next up, I'm going to upgrade my version of Java. Now on this controller, I'm using the Timurin-based version of the JVM. So I'm going to upgrade to Timurin 17. So I'm, I'm going to say dnf-install Timurin-17-jdk. And hit enter and wait for just a couple of seconds. Okay, now that the package has been installed, let's just verify it real quick. We'll say java-version. And we can see now that we have the OpenJDK version of 17.0.6. Let's go ahead and start our controller back up. So we'll say systemctl start Jenkins. Now that that's started, let's go ahead and go back over to our controller. We'll have to log back in. And then let's go and copy our script one more time. And let's go back in to our script console. And let's run this script one more time to see if we see the differences between our controller and our agent. If we scroll down and take a look at the output, again, what we see for the controller is we expected agent version 3077, and now we're expecting Java version of a 17.0.6. But unlike a few moments ago, where we saw node agent one was okay, now we can see that we're expected version 17.0.6, but got 11.0.18. Now that makes total sense because we haven't upgraded the JVM on our agent yet. Now, although this script is helpful and not a bad way to run things, there's actually an easier way to get that information. There's a plugin that can help make this much easier so you don't have to have script console access to actually see the data. So let's go back into Manage Jenkins, Manage Plugins. Let's click on Available Plugins and search for version C. And the plugin that we're looking for is version node monitors. Its actual short name is called version column. So let's go ahead and install this plugin. So we'll say download now and install after restart. Now that we're back into our controller, let's click on build executor status. And that will show us all of our nodes and clouds. Well, what you'll see here is everything looks the same as before. We still see that there are Linux and we see response times. But let's now go into node monitoring. What we'll see here is that there is a JVM version, which comes from the plugin that we just installed. And then we have comparison modes for comparing agents and controllers. The default 
is agent must run a JVM whose feature release counter 11 or 17 is greater than or equal to that of the controller. Now, since our controller is at 17 and our agent is at 11, then that's the minimum, right? We want them to be greater than or equal to. We would expect the agent to be greater than or equal to the controller, but we're doing it backwards. So if we click on OK on this, now what you'll notice in the columns here is we'll see a JVM version and we'll see a remoting version. Now, fortunately, the remoting version is exactly the same. That's a good thing. If, you, if your remoting versions aren't the same, then your remoting versions really need to be the same as well. But we can see our JVM versions for agent one is at 11, and we can see that at 17 for the controller. Built-in node is the controller. Now let's go back over into our node monitoring, and I'm actually going to change this to paranoid plus plus, which means the agent must run the JVM whose version number is equal to that of the controller. That's what I want to enforce. So I'm going to select that, and I'm also going to select disconnect agent when incompatibility is found. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on OK, and we can already see that the agent is offline. If I was to try to bring this node back online right now, what's going to happen if I refresh this is we're going to see that the agent initially shows that it's online. If we take a look at the log, it's showing successfully connected and online, but in reality, it's not. And we can see that it's now gone offline. Let's go back into the log, and we can see that although it shows that it's connected, once the plugin saw that they didn't match, it actually did a force disconnect of that agent. So let's go ahead and connect into our agent and let's upgrade its JVM from 11 to 17. So we'll go ahead and go in. I've already SSH'd in, I've become root. So all I need to do now is install the version of Java that I want, which in this case is Timurin 17 JDK. So we'll say DNF Y install Timurin 17 JDK. Now, before we move on, let's go ahead and type java-version. And we can see here again that we are running 17.0.6. Now, just because we've upgraded the version of Java on this agent does not mean that the controller is going to be able to connect to this agent. So what do we have to do? Well, we need to go into agent and we need to go ahead and fully disconnect this agent. So we say, yes, I want to go ahead and completely disconnect and say yes. Now you'll notice on the left-hand nav, there's no connect disconnect, but what we have is bring this node back online. So we'll go ahead and click on this. By doing that, we now get the launch agent button. So we needed to fully do a hard disconnect from the controller. We need to bring it back online, and now we can actually launch the agent. Much like before, we see agent is successfully connected online, but we also remember that the plugin kicked in and then booted out this agent. Well, let's see what's going on now. If we click on nodes in our breadcrumb, what we're going to see is that the agent is still online. And if we also take a look as we go along to the far right hand side, we'll see the JVM version of agent one is at 1706, which matches the built-in node or the controller version of also 17.0.6. So if we were to scroll back over and just go back to the root of our dashboard, what we'll see is that the agent is still connected online. We'll click on agent, much like we did at the very beginning. We'll click on system information. We'll take a look at Java runtime version. We see that it's 17.06. We'll also click on Manage Jenkins on the controller. Let's go back into System Information. And we can also see here that our Java runtime version is 17.0.6. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.